Hello and welcome to this presentation from Windswept and Interesting Limited. My name is Roderick Reed, and I'm going to be talking to you today about kite turbines, a scalable clean energy I've been developing with some friends here at Windswept and Interesting Limited. So let's crack on with it. Uh, I'll take you through these slides. The, we've got airborne wind energy systems is a science that's uh, fairly new. It's basically flying wind turbines and how you make them very lightweight, very cheap, and uh, you know, you fly in better wind so you can get more power for less cost. Uh, they're transportable a lot of the time and uh, they can be very efficient because the way you use the machines. They don't look like this though. Oh, that's my phone going off and by the way this is my kitchen and hopefully the kids don't come back in a wee while too. Uh, this is where I work from, from home. Uh, so I've made some very small scale systems. Let's have a look at them. Here they are. Uh, these rotary kite turbines, they've been very cheap and able to be made at home, but the performance has been world class. We'll get into that. So these are uh, auto gyro kite turbines. They are lifted up by that lift kite. You can see at the top there, there's a turbine. And then you've got a mechanical transmission, so it's a continuous rotary output, unlike any of the other airborne wind energy systems. Down onto the ground, there you've got the power takeoff wheel at the generator, and that's anchored down onto the ground. Nice and simple. So in this video you can see a couple of layers there of kite turbine spinning and some models with more spinning. Uh, they're pretty high speed here, some simulations of the, the beam compression, again that model. An old three stack turbine made out of soft sails, uh, that's him again. Uh, now here's another transmission system we've been working on. And here's a simulation uh, just to show you really the vector forces lifting, extending and torquing, you know, turning the whole system around. Our torque transmission systems, um, really quite cool how it works, I'll tell you that in a wee bit. Here we are, the kite turbines working in the powerful bit of the, the kite wind window. And that's where you want to keep working because that's where your greatest uh, forces are available for you to take from a kite in that window. So these kite turbines work with networks and networks of kites uh, give you an ability to scale. The kites themselves are quite small compared to, they don't have to be big because you can put multiple kites on the network. When you put multiple kites on the network, you get all the forces adding up from all of these kites. So you can put layers of kites one on top of the other on the net. You can also put uh, multiple kites and in numbers around each ring on that network on the turbine. Uh, you can also, if you see at the bottom of that slide, you can network the lifting kites together. And so when you have a network of kites, um, really in any configuration, you have wide anchoring on that kite and you keep it stable. The network turbines are stable in their operation, but also these networks of lifters are stable and they hold the kite turbines in place. So you can have farms of turbines in place, reaching really quite high into the sky. We don't know how high yet. We've still got to find out. So we've been working, like I said, on a, a very small budget just from home here. And uh, you can see I started with a bike as my first ground station there. Worked well, it uh, sort of went to a stick from there. Um, I've got this nice ground station now with all its measurements, but it's still too big, really. I, I can cut down from that size, but yeah, we've got a lot of good data for a PhD from Strathclyde University out of that kit. And the performance has been world-class. We're winning. So I'm currently in the process of upgrading the prototype that we've got, uh, looking to make it much easier for manufacture and much easier to work with and put together. And the first product is going to be a portable uh, device for an EV. Uh, I've just managed to get myself an electric vehicle. I'm going to put this kite turbine in the back and charge it up when I go way off out to the west side over there. Uh, I'll try and run out of battery and deploy the kite turbine and charge up the EV battery. Uh, looking forward to that, so if anyone out there wants to do something similar, come and buy one. This would be great. If you want to uh, work with us, we're really looking uh, for uh, battery management systems, developers. So we are hoping to make some money out of this. We're hoping to be able to sell 
through partner uh, affiliate systems. We're hoping uh, to capitalize on the intellectual property we've got now. And we're available for consulting and training. And we're going to be making these three kilowatt kite turbine sets. So we've done really quite well. We've got patenting on the way, like I said. We've got uh, PhD um, just about finished in Strathclyde University on the turbine sets. And uh, we've been featured in various publications. The device itself has got incredible credentials. Uh, under two kilograms in the air and flying under 30 meters. So it's in line with the regulations. Air Navigation Order CAP 393. You can uh, uh, test inside an active air traffic control zone. Um, yeah, the power output, 1.5 kilowatts from two kilograms in the air is uh, and 10 meters a second of wind is the best ratio in airborne wind energy. So yeah, we're doing really well there. Um, I've made a little bit, I've had a little bit of funding to do this uh, from Innovation Voucher. Um, Thank you, Scottish Government. Um, there's been a few small system sales and bits of consulting. And I had a, a crowdfunding uh, for helping develop the prototype for Ollie in Strathclyde. Mostly, it's working from home though, thank you. So in conclusion, kite turbines are simple, scalable and safe. Simple because they're autonomous. They have worked without any control system so far. Scalable, you can keep putting kite numbers on them. Safe things break on it you could cut a line and because it's a network it keeps on working it's kind of frangible that way keeps uh, it just keeps flying and they are flying now so let's see if we can make these things better bigger if you want to see a scalable clean energy future uh, please get involved i'd love to help you uh, realize that okay thanks very much for listening